All right, I'm going to be putting some final touches on this today. And uh, I already got an idea for my next piece. <laughs> I, I keep producing these Dutch dust collectors here in my studio. <laughs> I'm running out of place, places to store these things. I've got a storage unit, but I can't put them there because when it gets summertime, the clay will melt because it gets hot inside those storage units. There's no air conditioning. I don't know. I can't stop sculpting just because my stuff doesn't get in bronze. Anyway, that's uh, just my more Monday afternoon complaint. I'm going to work on the base today, mostly. I'll work on some of the horse parts uh, over the next day or so, but uh, for today I'm going to fine-tune my base. Time to play with some clay. One of the keys about doing a base is you want to complement the piece with it, but you don't want to dominate the clay with it because if you do everybody's eye is drawn to the uh, base and not the uh, actual sculpture so you got it's a kind of a, it's kind of like trying to find a fine balance between design and over design and also I've got to be careful because uh this has to be cast, and I didn't, can't have a bunch of undercuts. And I'm still trying to make it look like grass in some way. So it's a it's a challenge. But everything about sculpting is a challenge. This is where your fingernail becomes a sculpting tool. <laughs> I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing, but it's it's hard to get my hand position just right and not have it covered up, covering up the lens. The tool I'm using is a rounded, chipped, kind of slightly bent tip. It's really good for this type of thing. I got this uh, metal tool from SculptureDepot.net. And uh, they got everything a sculptor needs, no matter what kind of sculpting you do. Polymer or 
anything. It just, uh, they've got everything that you need. Okay, I'm gonna put a rock feature here. Just putting some texture into the uh, clay. I'm using a, can't see because it's covered in clay, but it's a serrated edge on the uh, one side of this uh, wire tool. And that gives you a nice texture. This was just a, a flat piece of, piece of clay that I put on here to give me form. And I'm, I have to build, build up underneath it. So it's got a platform to sit on. Well, I'm going to have to pick this up tomorrow. I got a call from a, somebody who follows me on YouTube. They're here visiting friends. And they asked if they come by my, can come by my studio. And I said, absolutely. Always nice to meet people that uh, follow me on YouTube. They uh, called me just now and... Uh, they apologized. They had just one more day to be here, and they uh, were going to call me yesterday, but they didn't want to disturb me on a Sunday, which was thoughtful of them. All right, I can hear the car coming up the driveway. All right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, see you tomorrow. It's a typical Monday. I love it. I love the way it's coming out. Still got some holes in there. I got to fill. All right. See you manana <laughs> tomorrow. I think that's what that means. Anyway. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. 
Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.